Are you ready to start 2024 with 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 good energy to to can you imagine feel physically well to recover from all this stress that that life has taken on you from from the illnesses and sometimes just aches and pains but sometimes scary illnesses life threatening illnesses mental illnesses emotional stress depression anxiety it's been really really hard to live in the third dimension world because everything about it is chaos and conflict and competition and battle and war and threat and that takes a toll on your energy so the way out and i've been discussing for some time now is to leave the third dimension of this energetic checked out tuned out and denied energy and start to tune in start to wake up into your you're using all your awareness and and start to acknowledge and honor and respect what's really happening both internally and externally in your life so that you make choices to take care of yourself. My name is Sonia Choquette. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to continue leveling up, becoming more creatively conscious, more, more spirit embodied in the physical plane, more 5D, heart-centered, whole-brained, and how to heal. If you're new to my channel, I'm very excited to have you here. And if you are staying with me and coming back, welcome back. So today let's talk about, first of all, what to heal means is to become whole again. And one of the biggest reasons we're not feeling whole, integrated, integral with integrity, you know, solid, in flow, is because we've been trained and even intimidated to only use half of our awareness and even then to tune it out. This has been a very left brain dominated world where we've been told only what's real, only what can be physically acknowledged is real. And even then, have we not been gaslit our whole lives saying, no, you didn't hear that. No, I didn't say that. No, that's not what's happening, even though it's happening. So we've been trained to abandon our, our energetic awareness that protects us. So step one, the left brain is part of the deal, but it's not the whole deal. We have a right brain, which also picks up the subtle planes. We have a heart brain, which recognizes the connection to everything. We have a higher self. We have energies that help us, and we can no longer indulge the fantasy that that's not real. It's hurting us. So let's start with our left brain. Let's start with our outer senses in the left brain. Let's okay. Let's start with what is real. Well, you're going to miss it if you're not tuned in. You've got to actually start paying attention and being more discerning. Being more discerning. If you feel something, it's, it's something. If, you're, if you notice something and it doesn't feel right, it's not right. If something in someone's tone of voice is saying to you something that doesn't resonate is true, it's not. The biggest, most empowering transformation is to quit gaslighting yourself. Now, it comes easily if you've had it done to your whole life, but don't. Make that your number one decision for wellness. I am no longer going to deny what my senses are telling me. You know, the scent that smells off, it is. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth because it should. Something's not right for you. And here's the big liberation. You're reading energy accurately. Don't deny it. Say so. Acknowledge it. You don't have to convince anyone else. They can gaslight you and say you're crazy. Probably will. But you don't need other people's appro approval or permission. You can say, well, Call me crazy. Maybe I am too sensitive, but it, it's not for me. I am going to choose not to ignore this. Revelation. Revolution. You get into harmony, and that's what being begins, deeply begins to bring about health, wellness, recovery. You are recovering and calling back the spirit that you've been denying, that's been trying to protect you. Here's another way to bring about more health, wellness, wholeness. Slow down. 
you know, if you grew up in a traumatic family or you grew up in a toxic family or had childhood PTSD, and who hasn't, one of the consequences of that is you're feeling rushed all the time. Got to get a, and what you're trying to do is get away from the bad energy by and 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 figure out where to be. So you end up leaving your own experience and you're not in your own body. Slow down, come home, and feel what doesn't feel right. Start acknowledging what doesn't feel right in your circumstances. I don't feel safe in my home. I don't feel safe in this relationship. Here's an interesting story. I have a very good friend in Paris who who's quite healthy. In fact, it's his business. It's his profession to, to deal with helping people feel energetically congruent. And this is another way where we want to use our keen sense of the obvious. So he started getting serious neck pains and vertigo. And his first question was, what, what energy am I denying? What what isn't working for me? Which all brought about a lot of decisions, including that he had to leave Paris and go back home. But in addition to that, he said, for the first time, I started paying close attention to the apartment I actually was in that was all, you know, boarded up with closed windows and shutters because it's cold outside. And all of a sudden, I had a aha that this place is infested with mold. He said, I looked closer at the radiators and I started looking more closely at the walls in my charming French abode. All of a sudden, it looked like poison town. He said, I hightailed it out of there really fast. I packed up and went to stay with a friend and within 38 hours, 40 hours, I started feeling better. So this is how we get over, we get back to wholeness and wellness. We have to use both our outer and our inner senses accurately. Start with your outer senses. Put your phone down and start closely examining your environment. And don't examine it intellectually. Examine it energetically. Do I feel good? Does what I'm eating leave me feeling good? Does what I'm wearing leave me feeling good? Because all of these are choices that either acknowledge what you need and lovingly respond, or they don't. Or they don't. I have a friend who's very much a fashion victim and wears very high stiletto heels. And I said, you know, once upon a time in your 20s, that might have been really a leave you feeling good choice. But how does it leave you feeling today? And she said, just sad. Just sad. I mean, I'm denying that these are no longer good for my body. I don't know what I'm trying to prove wearing stilettos in my 60s. It's not for me. It's like maybe it's for someone else, but it's just take them off. But take off that identity that is insisting that's who you have to be to be loved. And find the self in you that is your true self and let that self be loved, be embraced. I gave up my high heels five years ago when I walked, or more, when I walked the Camino and totally trashed my feet. I thought, okay, well, I love heels as great as the rest of them. Platform shoes are my buddy, but they're not good for my body. So be creative. Make another choice. The key is to make loving choices, but you have to be present and notice what you're experiencing. Intuition starts with a keen sense of the obvious. And the most obvious is that no one's going to take better care of you than you. And that that's a good thing. And your senses serve you. You can get to the inner guidance, but we have to start with the outer. Where are I? Am I, am I listening to noise and negativity and talk radio all day? Am I listening to gossip? Am I participating in junk food? Am I, am I staying up too late? Am I living in disorder and it's distressing me, these little obvious outer energies are going to return you to wellness. It's called self-love. Self-awareness, discernment, self-love. That's my message for today. Thanks for tuning in. We have a big year. We're going to learn to read everything in life accurately and then go with the best energy that we are experiencing because then we'll have the best life. 
Thanks for tuning in. Please come back. Hit that subscribe button. Don't miss another. I love you. I send you positive energy. I really want you to love yourself, to read yourself accurately because you are allowed wholeness if you agree. See you next week. Bye, everyone.